The third example, x liters are drawn out from 40 liters of a solution having milk and water in the ratio 5 is to 3 and is replaced by water. Uh, this operation is done twice. If the person, if the ratio of milk and water now is 2 is to 3, find the value of x. This question is trying to trick you into, it's, we don't know the volumes now directly, right? Uh, so, I could say at start, I have 40 liters, right? Now, something is removed, x liters is removed. But I do not know what will be the new volume and then x liters water is added. Since water is added, I will work on milk. Again, I would be removing of x liters. Remove, as I said, try not to do this question. But then when x liters is removed, I replace x. So, will I still get back to 40 liters? Something is removed, but I have added the same thing. Now, x liters is again removed. I do not know the volume, but I know after x liters of water is added, it will be back to 40. So, what is this I am trying to tell you is here is 1 whatever is a quantity removed is equal to the quantity added. So, we will keep getting back to the 40 liters at the point and whatever is a factor here water added this factor is same as the factor here right. Uh, I am consciously not writing 40 minus x because I want you all to work on. Oh, I know milk proportion, I will work on milk, milk proportion final is milk proportion initial and I just want you to look at it as there is one factor when it is added and there is a second factor when the second addition happens and in this two question, in this question both the factors are same. So, do we know the milk proportion initially? Yes, 5 is milk, 3 is water, so total will be 8. Uh, do I know the final this time? Yes, I know the final 2 is milk. And uh, 3 is water, so 5 will be the total. What I want you all to understand is both the factors here is going to be the same. And I don't want to write in terms of x. So, if both the factors are same, it will just be an f square. So, what does this f square turn out to be? So, it is easy to solve. f square is 8, 2 is 16, 5, 5 is 25, 16 by 25, which results in f being equal to the fraction being equal to 4 by 5. So, what it is talking about is when water is added, this ratio of volumes has to be 4 is to 5. But remember it is adding, so it is an inverse. So this will be 5, this will be 4. So, we have the ratio is 4 is to 5. 5 part corresponds to 40. So, 4 part obviously will correspond to 32. And if it is 32, what is x removed? The removed x is going to be 8 liters will be removed. It is as straight as this, right? So, this is the difference sense. In the sense, till now fractions were given to us, the multiplying factors were given to us and we needed to find the final proportion. This time final proportion is given, we need to find the, what is the volume removed and volume added out over here. So, we find the factor and then we know that that factor has to be v1 is to v2. What is v1 and v2? V1 is, okay, if you are not very sure, this factor is V1 by V2. When is this? Where while adding, while adding. So, while adding V1 is to V2, the ratio has to be 4 is to 5. Hope oh, now it is very clear. If you still find it difficult to do it without getting that X, then my suggestion to you would be get that X in. So, this will be 40 minus x and this will be 40. The next time again 40 minus x and then again 40. So, what will be the first factor? V1 by V2 that is 40 minus x by 40. What is the second time? Again V1 is 40 minus x by 40. But this needlessly is adding too much uh, time to your calculation bit as such, right? Uh, it's a simple equation. We can still solve it. 
at least now let's do a little bit of a intelligent work uh, 40 by x by 40 squared so i'm just keeping it squared and i'm not changing anything is nothing but 16 by 25 taking the square root 40 minus x by 40 is 4 by 5 so let's solve it 8 8 fours are 32 so 40 minus x is 32 which will give us x as 8 but this is as i already said this is a waste of time and calculation you should be very strong in the ratios right uh, while CAT has not gone beyond the difficulty level of the three examples that we have seen. But let us do two more questions with a slightly or let's do three more questions with little bit of changes each time. The fourth example reads as 10 liters is removed from 60 liters of milk and 20 liters of water is added. Again 10 liters is removed from the solution and 20 liters of water is added. What is the quantity of uh, milk in the solution now? So this question is different in the sense I am removing 10 liters but I am adding 20 liters, right? For this question, let's try not to write the volumes first. Let's find the answer first. And if you find difficulty, then we will go to volumes. So I want to, will, will, the question is asking us liters of milk. However, I'll continue with what we know, the proportion of milk. So the proportion of milk finally will be the proportion of milk initially so read the sentence again what is it saying 10 liters is removed from 60 liters of milk so at start all 60 liters was just milk so i'll use the proportion of milk as just one and i'll continue first i'm removing 10 from 60 so it comes to 50 now i'm adding that is when the factor will come in when i'm adding 50 has become 70 Right? So the factor here has to be less than 1 which will be 50 by 70. Initial volume before adding, volume after adding. So we have 70 liters now. From this 70 liters, I again remove 10 liters of solution. When I remove 10 liters of solution, it will not affect the milk proportion. But 70 has become 60. And now I am adding 20 liters of water. So the, while the second time water is added, the volume increases from 60 to 80. So the ratio out over there will be 60 by 80. And this will be the proportion of milk at the end. So let's see if we can reduce it. Uh, yes, this gets reduced by 3 and 4. Nothing else. So the proportion of milk in the end is 15 is to 28. The question is about quantity of milk. Once you know the proportion at any stage, you can always find the quantity is nothing but 15 by 28 of the total. And what's the total? The total is 80 liters in the end. Remember in each addition, we are increasing by 10 liters, right? So there are two such additions. So initially it was 60, finally has to be 80. And this will be the liters of milk. So we just need to do the calculations. So 420, 4 sevens are that is going to be 300 by 7. These many liters, if we want the decimal, 1 by 7 is 14.28. So 3 by 7 has to be uh, 42.28 into 3. That is 84. So these many liters of milk will remain at the end. Right? So this is simple. For your benefit, I am just writing the volumes here if you have not been able to follow the ratio. So we started with 60 liters. When I remove 10 liters, I am removing 10 liters, so it becomes 50. I am adding 20 liters of solution uh, of water, so that becomes 70. So this is the first addition which tells us the ratio is 50 by 70. I am removing 10 again, so that is 60, and I am adding 20 again, so that is 80. And this is the second addition, which gives me the second ratio, right? 
how i still try keep try that you don't write the solution uh, volumes if at all it is getting too messy or you can't hold numbers in your mind that is the time when you write this okay so one more question example 5 a solution has 64% milk one sixth of the solution is removed an equal quantity of milk is added please note this time we are adding milk this is called one operation how many times should the operation be done so that percentage of milk is more than 80% thing to note here is which i have already mentioned that milk is being added and so to start with i had milk percentage as 64% and in the end i want this to be greater than 80% but we necessarily have to work on water here in our whole uh, method we are working on the quantity that remains same we are working the proportion is inversely pro this proportion is inversely proportional to the volume which proportion that of water so i'll have to work on water so i'll have to change this to water percentage so initially water percentage was 36% and finally if milk is more than 80 water has to be less than 20% so i'll be working on water so i have water is to begin with water is 36% now i want i'll keep changing the water percentage so i'll work so some factors will keep coming and remember water is only going out when 1/6 of the solution is removed water goes out when milk is added water doesn't come in so the factors have to be less than 1 those are non negotiable things here in our approach so now what is the volume so again without writing it let's see what is it 1/6 is removed so if i start with the volume being 6 it will become 5 and then equal quantity is added 5 will become 6 so when the addition is happening volume will change from 5 to 6 so the factor will be 5 by 6 now the question is saying how many times the factor will remain always 5 by 6 whatever is removed is added so it will be back to 6 again 1 6 removed 6 will become 5 equal quantity added so the factors will remain 5 by 6 and the question is asking 5 by 6 has to be multiplied how many times so that the final answer is less than 20% the final answer has to be less than 20% so let's check it up less than 20% two times we can easily find it out so when i do the operation two times 66 36, 36 will cancel 5 5 is a 25 is it still less than 20 20% 25% it is not rather let me say this term has to be less than 20% so currently it is 25 let me put in another 5 by 6 so in my scratch work i already had 25 into 5 by 6 which is 125 by 6 and let's see this 6 twos are 12 it doesn't cancel so 0.5 by 6 that is 833 is it still less than no it is 20.83 it is not less than this but i'm pretty sure now once i do one more 5 by 6 when i multiply this by 5 by 6 multiplied by 5 will be 100 100 by 6 is going to be somewhere like 16 it is definitely going to become less than this so how many times have i done the operation i have done the operation four times hope you get this so we'll end this session with one last twist to the question to notice the twist in the sixth example let's recollect our first example in our first example we started with 80 liters of solution s refers to the solution here i would remove 10 liters of the solution so minus s is 10 liters of solution is removed and add 10 liters of water plus the so 80 Again, remove 10 liters of solution. Add 10 liters of water. Remove 10 liters of solution. Add 10 liters of water. We did it thrice. The milk proportion finally at start was given as 5 is 5 by 7. The milk water ratio was 5 is to 
Removal does not change addition water factor 7 by 8. Removal does not change addition water 7 by 8. Removal does not change addition 7 by 8. Now let us compare it with the sixth example and see what is the difference. The sixth example says 10 liters of water is added to 80 liters of a solution having milk and water in the ratio 5 is to 2. Next, 10 liters of the solution is removed. This operation is done three times. What is the proportion of milk or what is the ratio of milk and water in the final solution? So, what is the difference? I hope you take some time, compare the two questions and try to identify what the difference is. Pause it. When you are through with your thought process, continue it. In this question, what we are doing is the order of removing and adding has changed. In the first example, we are removing first, then adding, removing, then adding, removing, add. Here, what we do is we start with 80 liters. So, the volume of solution, we start with 80 liters, but this time, what am I doing? I am adding 10 liters of water first. Okay, so that will take the solution to 90. And now I am removing, remove 10 liters, that is of the solution obviously, you can't do anything else, right. So, 80 has become 90 and then uh, it will be back to 80 and then the operation continues, again add water to it, will become 90, so remove solution, will become 80, add water to it, will become 90, remove uh, solution, will become 80. So, obviously, you need not write it after you do one round of it. So, we will start with the proportion of milk. The proportion of milk was 5 by 7. Now, in the addition part, when I am adding, that is going to be a factor. What was V1? 80. V2? 90. So, the factor is going to be now 8 by 9. Right? And since we have done now 5 examples, you will remember at every addition, that is going to be a factor of 8 by 9. Right? So, the proportion or uh, milk proportion finally, milk proportion finally is going to be this. Unfortunately, this time I don't think so anything cancels out. So, it's going to be a big calculation for us. Um, to finish the question, I'm just doing it. 8 cube is 512 into 5, 2560. 512, 500 into 5 is 2500, 12 into 5 is 60. 9 cube is 729 into 7. So, let me just do the scratch work here. 729 into 7. That is going to be 7 and 63, 622, 49, 51. So, what do we have this? This is, the, this is your milk to total. But the question is asking us milk to water. So, again we can find it out. Milk is 2560. Water will be the subtraction. So, should I do the subtraction? 3 minus 0 is 3. 0, 10 minus this is going to be a 4. 10 minus 5 is going to be a 5. And 2. I guess. Let me just check it up once. 3, and 3 4 and 6. 10, 10, 11. Yes. So, the ratio of milk and water will be 2560 is to 2544. The calculation is not important. What you should compare here is, does the change of sequence affect the answer? Yes, it does. Now, the addition is 80 to 90 and here it was 70 to 80. Hope you have got this. So, eventually I find these questions to be very, very easy. I have not seen many students struggling with them. So, next step is go to the exercise following these sessions. Try out those questions and good luck with them.